Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ascana Dark. My name is ZXC, Adam, whatever you want to call me, and I am the DM of this awesome. game. Bastard. I'm bastard, piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I'm here. Hot piece of ass. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're. I am. Being... Yeah, I'm here with my players. We have uh, Sophie. Hi. Playing Typhon. We have Molly. Playing Lexori. We have Curtis. I don't know who he is. No one knows who that is. We barged into his house and we're like, D and D time. D and D time. It's time. We barged into this house. This loser was here. Roped him in. Yeah, Fair yeah. enough. Uh, we have Curtis playing Erastus, and we have Ben. So playing Desmond. Uh, and guys. Can anyone give us a recap of what happened last time? Specifically, maybe Ben. Yeah, it was a Desmond episode. Sorry. Yeah, you guys really close to that mic. I do have ASMR that back. Yeah, ASMR, give us the year is 2027. It literally is not. Five years from now. Oh, sorry, guys. Anyways, last session. um... Desmond stole Lexori's art, <laughs> but um, how do we start? After the inevitable, I want to say capture. That's not the right word. Typhon and Lexori Typhon. gave themselves in. Thanks, guys. Uh, to, to Clock Tower, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Desmond oh, to be assassin as part of the assassination plan. Yes. yes. Uh, that was completely useless and so no purpose yeah. whatsoever. What? You were Fortunately, miserably for nothing. I love being on that one HP. Yeah. Wait, did you, you, you still the crease now? Because you haven't got any outnet for armor anymore. Oh, is any of the perks? Oh, sorry guys, I got distracted. Um, and then, Erastus and Desmond spent a- was it a day and a half? Yeah. Day and a half. Yeah, scouting out cute the tower- with, Yeah, a very cute couple time. Waiting for the silver man to approach, which would give us the opportunity to sneak in, and by us, I just mean Desmond. You want to make a I'm yeah. getting to that, Molly. <laughs> oh my goodness, Sorry, Dad, it's not fighting. I did more than any of those two. You did. <laughs> I'm casting a single spell. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I got to hallucinate. Yeah, there was. It's so getting to the spell bit. I will. Okay. <laughs> while waiting, while Desmond was asleep, Aras just decided to experiment with a box of triangles. <clears throat> Ended up with a fleshy rat blob and a oh, I one, less down. one less finger and the ability to talk a little bit quicker for like an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, yeah, it was completely negative. No, it was, it was a positive. Ne it wasn't the biggest fuck up of the session, though. True. <laughs> oh, look at me. Look at them. Oh. Yeah. Technically, we didn't fuck it up. We were just there. Yeah. yeah. You were victims of the circumstance. Anyways, after the Silver Man arrived, Desmond managed to sneak up to the tower and climb up. Unfortunately, he was attacked by a little critter. I don't think that critter was little. I think it was about the size of a human person, which is little. <laughs> a silvery goat monster that Desmond had to flee from while climbing up the tower until it broke through a window with him and he managed to kill it. Luckily enough, that floor was where Desmond needed to be, where Malol was, and Malol got a via the goat spawn and the goat's body was left there as a kind of like oh yeah there's a dead goat thing it's got some blood in it it's our boss's head dead it was we killed him yeah that makes more sense than just some guy climbing in and doing it right yeah it does trust oh, me oh yeah well, that will be I can't this episode about you as well sorry i like talking about myself <laughs> and just got me. anyways realizing that the whole Letting Lexori and Typhon be captured was a fucking waste of our time. You got paid though. I got, got you paid. Got, yeah, Arastus got paid. True. No, just me. Sorry, Arastus got paid. Twenty, for 20 gold. <laughs> Twenty gold. So you know, big box. Um, Desmond went down, no, one story, knocking out two different guards. Managed to find the torture chamber. Murdered all of the assholes that were torturing them. Broke the additional tieflings and Lex Lexori and Typhon out. However, they got a little bit of kooky after being tortured. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And one of them tried to just jump out the tower, and the yeah. other was trying to go back down 
to the torture chamber. It's where it belonged. <laughs> well, it's home. Yeah. yeah. But this. It's safe there. Yeah. 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 My scales were there, so I just wanted to go back. Have you ever seen like, a nail dig without a fingernail on it? Yeah, that's what it's like. That's what. You, you're kind of like, like, like strenuous, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, like, that's not as usual. Yeah. Now we're like. Okay. Now we got out and we just went to go back to the sewers to see yeah. the big group of teethlings that sent us on that mission to kill them all. Yeah. yeah. To get, uh, oh, and before we start, does my natural armor class go down? Your natural armor yeah. class? No. Yeah. Well, no. That's just based on the dexterity. Yeah. Oh, but, uh, no, but technically the thing was because I had scales. Middle scales, yeah. 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 Was that really a thing? No, I'm I'm gonna say you have a lot of scales. They remove some. You still have enough to keep your natural armor class. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll be nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna nerf you more. <laughs> my eight HP and my armor class. Yeah. Right. So now we're hobbling down the sewers. Yeah. Yes. Someone needs to give me money, please. And that is, that is where we are picking up the uh, the story oh, with you guys. Missing most of our clothes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, with you <laughs> hobbling. <laughs> your clothes. Arrest is you. 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 You had like a visual of like them coming out of the tower, so you saw. You, you see where they're going down into the sewer. You have a choice to either follow them or stay just up there where you, where you're sitting. Oh, Cured, so I'm gonna follow them. Fair enough. Okay, Erastus, you hop down from like your little like uh, peak looking over the tower, uh, and you make your way towards the uh, the rest of the group as they hobble along uh, down into the sewers. Uh, you enter the sewers and begin your trek uh, through it with this large group of uh, around about uh, twenty to thirty people. Uh, you wander through the sewers and down deeper deeper until you eventually come across the hideout two guards stand in front of the hideout like they normally do and as they see you arriving they have this shocked expression on their faces the one of the tieflings steps forwards and goes we're home the guards immediately remove their spears and allow the tieflings to walk through and as you four pass them the guards both nod deep at you and allow you through bad respect we don't say anything because we're all no, no, uh, like sorry's on my back and i'm just like ah. yeah, yeah. You make your you make your way into the uh, the main chamber of the room, and you head inside. In inside, there's like a sense of celebration. Uh, a lot of people are coming up to like greet these gr th these tieflings, uh, meeting them. Uh, shaking hands, hugging them, uh, crying, tears running down their faces at the reuniting of siblings, brothers, sons, mothers. You see one of the tieflings on the other side of the room. You see Roderick as he watches over you. Oh, is he going to go get the food? No, no, I don't know. We're falling on us. We're falling on us. Okay, okay. Erastus okay. is silent in the back. Okay. Yeah. So, Roderick, so what does he do? Roderick stands up and he makes his way over to you guys. He kind of... He kind of nods at all of you as he walks towards it. Oh, I have to talk? No. No. <laughs> um, we've done this in real life, guys. Uh, okay? uh, you brought them? You killed them. You killed them. Where is it? First, I must apologize for my harsh treatment of you. Oh, you absolutely should. Mm. I did not think that you would save us. Oh, I assumed you would do what we asked of you and nothing more, but you went out of the way to help save our people, and for that, I thank you. We need a bit more than thanks. More than that. Yeah. 
You shall be cured. Can we speed it up? Mm, yes. I'm a little uncomfortable. Yeah. And I'm not just talking about the vicious wounds that I suffered. Of course. He kind of turns away and beckons towards you to follow him. Please, follow me. We're getting you to him. You wander down and past all of the rest of the tieflings and he takes you to a small pipe that uh, you have to kind of bend your heads down to fit inside of. You make your way in and as he leads you down, you see the walls of the pipe almost crystallizing with this strange metal-like substance that appears cubic in nature, creating these strange geometric shapes in the walls. Coursing up and down, it slowly becomes more and more jagged. You find that your steps become a little bit harder as you begin to make your way down. He takes you through this maze of metal until you reach a small room. Circular. It isn't much larger than a few meters. In the middle of the room sits a pedestal. On top of the pedestal floats a small ball of pure iron. Place your hand on the orb, and you shall be cured. Desmond slowly reaches out to grab. How big is the ball? Uh, not too big. It is about uh about this big, a little bit smaller than a soccer ball. <laughs> you place your you place your hand on it. Place the hand on the ball. Mm. Yeah, this is it. Do you know if they're actually cures them? We have seen it happen before. What happens if a tiefling touches it? If a tiefling touches it, the effects would be dangerous mm -hmm. to our health. Also, I'm going to have to go doing the voice a little bit too far away. <laughs> That's fine. So he turn he turns to uh uh he turns to Lixori and uh Typhon and he goes, I wouldn't recommend either of you touch it. I don't really want to be told about that. I'm perfectly fine. We'll find out. Typhon would, man. Go for the meme. I'll give you five gold, Typhon. Typhon needs gold. He. As you're like about to place your hand on it, Desmond, he kind of catches your wrist and just holds it slightly above. I warn you, this is going to hurt. Well, it's not going to be as bad as the scales going out either. He's going to grab the wrist and break your wrist. Yeah. Like, well, you don't get to be cured. Well, that's to be expected. The metal shards have got to go somewhere. Yes. Where yeah. are they going? Are they go back to the ball, I guess. I mean, the, the visual aid. Oh, sorry, gone. I got it. Sorry, yeah, sorry, right. I need my visual aid. Yes. You place your hand on the orb, and inside you, you feel the metal begin to pull out of you. Through your muscle and through your skin, it pierces and breaks and shatters through, coming out of all places. You erupts and like this blood starts spurting from your skin as these shards uh, burst out of it and you kind of crumple to the ground you can't lift your hand quite off the orb it feels like there's a strong magnetic pull drawing to you towards it and as you crumple to the ground you let out a cry of pain as the feeling of metal shards being pulled from your body slowly fades the rest of you witness as Desmond's body erupts into the shower of silver that shoots into the walls around you, coagulating and forming into the metal surroundings. 
Didn't you just kind of like just the like all release him? Yes. Okay, as it releases him, he just kind of falls to the ground. Can I, can I get like, a, a, a medicine check before I inevitably meet the same fate? Uh, you can indeed. Would you like to do a medicine check on? I'm on roll for my medicine. It's just, just plus five, I'm pretty sure. Or d20. Yeah, as it is. I don't know the roll. Where is it? Plus plus six, is it? Yeah. Dang. That is a. 23. Oh, that's enough. I think that's enough, yeah. 24? 23. 23. 23. Okay. Yeah. So, you examine uh, Desmond, and you look, and notice that he doesn't have any exit wounds. The blood that is covering him now appears to have been shot out upon the initial uh, excretion of the uh, metal, but now it appears the wounds have almost instantaneously closed behind them. Fucking excretion time. Mm. Now, what about his, his injuries sustained during the climb? During the climb, they are still fairly yeah, evident. He's still, <laughs> he is still not looking great, and at this point, he's just kind of like leaning against the metal pill pillar. No, no, he's on the ground. He's dead. He's, he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's on the like, ground. Yeah, he's I. Like, he just oh. like his... He's like he's like nap time vibes. He you yeah. he, he's just lying on the ground. He is not feeling too fly. Then with that medicine shit, can I sit in like any broken bones or maybe you know? Can... Yeah, sure. You uh with with the uh, same medicine check, you can do that. Uh, you basically just start like kind of like wrapping him in bandages and stuff. Um, while you still have a little bit of like energy in your body because you're kind of prepared about what's going to happen to you once you are done. By the way, why the hell is Curtis in black and white and everyone else is in colour? What's going on there? It's, it's, just, the it's, it's just the lighting. It looks so weird. <laughs> ah, he's in colour. <laughs> I don't know. Red, red. red. Yeah, it's a red room up in this bitch. Yeah. Blue room? Blue room? Blue room? Blue room vibes. Blue room? Actually, yeah. that's the amount of makeup. It also matches the background. It does. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it should be green room. Yeah. 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 Oh. I'm holding the orb. He's, he's fixing up Desmond first. Also, Mullen's just like, this is probably a bug. He's fixing it. Uh, okay. He is successfully able to, like, fix up Desmond pretty easily. Yeah. Um, How you. Much you much How much education? Would uh, you let. I mean. He's at like what six now? Yeah. I actually did. Yeah. Uh, can you roll a d4 for that quick like medicine check to see if you how how much uh, you heal oh, with just I, your I, hands? I, I, I'm wet. They're in my pocket. Can I just roll a d4 on him? Well, that would make too much sense. Oh, they're in between my legs. Oh, uh, you have a you have a plus five to medicine, right, Curtis? Yeah. Plus six. Yeah. Plus six. Okay, so it's a d4 plus six for the health. We just we just rolled on him. I just rolled it. Oh. In the same roll. <laughs> Seven? No, because D four plus six. So we got a one plus six. Oh. Yeah, so you 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 gain seven health back. <laughs> no. I literally was like <laughs> I thought because you're like, oh it looks like a seven. No. Okay. Not that dumb. Okay. Really After I put my One on one it. one looks like a seven. You what the fuck? <laughs> that was magic. <laughs> you, you like put okay. it in the No, that's what you do when you touch the orb. Yeah. That's the white pain that goes through your body as you reach out and touch the orb after you heal Desmond. <laughs> We're in a sewer, so it's green. Okay, right. okay. You're just, fuck, you're just fucking with the colors now, aren't you? Touch the orb. You play. Okay. Des uh, Erastus, you stand up from Desmond's like uh, body. You turn towards the orb and then very calmly place your hand on it, which is immediately. Uh, followed by you feeling excruciating pain. Right, mm. oh, right, my, <laughs> uh, you feel excruciating pain and kind of like bow down onto one knee as like you feel the suction of this magnetic force tearing all the metal out of your body in this incredibly painful procedure as it hits the walls coagulating and slipping into the cracks. 
Yeah, you collapse onto the floor. Uh, I think Arash is a bit of a dumb spell. Yeah. I feel like it shouldn't be as bad because I have less Iron Plague in there. Yeah. You were. It was still incredibly painful. It was like maybe two shards less painful. <laughs> I'll give it more iron because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bigger target. I'm aiming at this. Yeah. Uh, okay, Roderick uh, kind of like walks forward and goes, <laughs> Congratulations, you have been cured. <laughs> Roderick kind of takes a second and goes, There are things that you may not know quite yet, but in time. You will. Very ominous there, Roderick. Yeah. Thanks for uh, answering the question. Desmond Francis. Desmond's like still on the floor. Yeah, yeah. I'm pee behind like, sorry, Desmond's on the floor. Rest is just like, there. Yeah. I, I hear what you're good to go. You don't know what to do now. You are <laughs> welcome to come and go from the sewers from now on. Once again, though, keep our existence a secret and, well, we won't have to go through that again. Sure. The other thing is that you are not to be you are not to enter here without surveillance. Is that understood? Sorry, can you repeat that? Not security cameras. Someone to watch you. So you don't trust us after, you know, we, we saved the tieflings. We oh, trust you this with one, really. certain privileges, oh, but not others. I'll give you a muscle fish. Many tiefling do not even know what is down here. So keep this room a secret, is what you're saying? That's understandable. Yes. Is there any more, like, these orbs around? Or was this this particular orb that killed like as far as we know there is one other where it is we do not know um i'm gonna ask roderick uh, i've been surveilling the church quite thoroughly and i've overheard whispers that they might be learning of your location should we be concerned about that you should just get ready for anything, Restless. Why haven't you seen it? Yes. If they know where we are, then either they are cursed with the Iron Plague, or... Well... Hmm. He kind of, like, takes a moment. I had not considered the church was after us. If that is... A possibility and they know where we are then we must act fast on our next step of the plan there's more there's more to the plan of course malol was but the first step we the rest is yet to follow and we are not asking you to participate first you kill the elderly then you make the money <laughs> you kill the elderly then the clergy so what is the rest of the plan you have helped enough. Like, yeah. You need not worry about what we will do from here on out. You have gotten what you needed. You have gotten exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. You guys want to like and subscribe? Got it, Roger. Roger is out here being like promoting his YouTube yeah. channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. Like, Zedic is a fantastic DNA. <laughs> <Actually, laughs> even, even the music. I think yeah. you should like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, the black. Mm. Yep. Well, Roger, kind of like. Roger. Arrest said money. You think Arrest wants money? Money? Money is not something that we have much of down here. Did you? You steal everyone's money. What? I have a hundred gold. Thank you very much. That he on. So what? Is the plan? I know you don't want us involved, and we don't want you to be involved because after what happened, um, what what 
is your plan? Like not even being involved, but like just general knowledge. I don't know. He kind of like watches you. Do you presume me the leader? I assume so. I am not. Who is? There is one above me. You're a social group. And... Really? The next step of the plan is merely to wait for his word. For what comes next. If you don't mind me asking, Roger, but who's him? Perhaps you may like to meet him. I would like to. Are we going anywhere? Why not? I have to take you, so I guess so. Otherwise, I would just like all around. Yeah, oh, you can get more than three steps. You can get a step. Yeah, um. Roderick, you can probably carry me over. There's tight, nowhere else wants to go. Wait, I'm going with you. We had this discussion before. Hey. Not quite yet. He is out on business. Business. Another ominous answer there, Roderick. So, do you have any advice on perhaps places we should avoid so we don't step on your toes? The only place that I would recommend you not go is down here while you are being watched. Anywhere else, it's free reign. We're being watched? Wait, like, I knew that we were being watched by you, but who else? Anyone. People tend to talk when they see someone slip into the sewers trying to be undetected. Uh, Roderick, I hate to ask this now of all times, uh, do you happen to have other cloaks lying around? Yeah, do you actually? He kind of gives you a sly smile and goes, of course. We have many spare clothes in case you need them. You kind of really do need it. Yes. Follow me. He begins to lead you out of the room. <laughs> you guys, like... like I imagine, the... like, when we're going to the Iron Playroom, Typhon is just, like, waddling. And, like, I'm just... Yeah. Um, <laughs> he takes you out of the room and towards a, uh, the, uh, the, the, the main, like, hall. Doesn't still collapse. The rest yeah. is just, yeah. just, like, having a nap. Yeah, don't push the ball again. <laughs> Jason will slowly pick himself up and hobble behind those two. You, you touch the ball again. Nothing happens. You start hitting uh, a wall. Pull the ball up from the bag. Can you just like swipe it? I'm putting the ball in the, the triangle box. Oh my god! Triangle. People, they get the Oh my god! Are you actually gonna try and do that? I wouldn't fit so no. Okay. That's the only reason why I wouldn't. Fit. <laughs> you might get in trouble with the people. Yeah. 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 I get mad at you. They couldn't kill one dude sleeping. You, it is, it is, yeah, it is like a, it, it's a thought that goes through your head for like a second. You're like, yeah, this would be a good idea, and then you're immediately like, wait, it wouldn't fit, and then you're like, fuck, and then you walk out. <laughs> that idea, it's just like, no, it wouldn't fit the box. Okay. They literally all struggled to do what so, one. We're getting close. We're getting close. Also, um, it looks very well. Asked. Is there any way to get um shards out of um? I'm currently in immense pain right now. Is there any way to get shards out of a tiefling? No, he's awake again. They took us three to make feet so I can't walk, and they shaved it. Feet? Like hooves. You've got feet on your hooves. I mean, he said that. He kind of looks down. Well, your hooves are an anomaly among the tiefling. What do you mean that? Wow, way to make it feel great, Roderick. All I'm saying is that it's not a very common occurrence. However, if you were willing, we could do some minor surgery to remove them. Anything I need? Am I able to walk again after? Yeah, I'm able to. I'm willing. You wouldn't be able to walk on the flats of your hooves. What? I tell you that much. Wait, sorry. Can you repeat that, Adam? You wouldn't be able to walk on the flats of your hooves. 
What are you going to do? We could, as cliche as it sounds, install perhaps horseshoes on you. Fucking horseshoes, okay. It would mean that the well, soft, the insides of your hooves wouldn't be touching the ground. You'd have some protection. Oh, be so less if, painful. If it helps horses walk, I'm willing to have horseshoes. You have lost your horns as well. Yeah. I'm sorry. Truly. I mean, you're glad now I don't have them anymore? No. Horns are a sign of a tiefling's pride. All of us knew that. However, pride was not something that we could afford. You were one of the few that continued to show it. It's a shame that you lost them. They grow, they grow back, so... Fine. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of, like, nods and... Uh, walks off. If you want the surgery now, we can try and organize something. Yeah. Wonderful. As well as getting clothes. She kind of like, yeah. like holds onto the type of one, with one hand, like, just get in, in a way, just, just, just. just. <laughs> that way. Go that way. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he, he kind of like wanders off. For the rest of you, we will t uh, take the tiefling. For the rest of you, you may do as you wish until she is back or until he looks at it. He, he, he kind of like looks at one of the candles. Four hours have passed. That should be enough time for our leader to return. Uh... Desmond looks at his also tattered shirt mm. and just kind of looks up at Roger expectantly, like, Do I get close, please? Mm. Of course. Please. You guys distracted me earlier. <laughs> uh, he, um, before, while you guys were like messing around, he took some like cloaks out of a chest and gave them to uh, the two of you um, to, to carry. Um, since you asked nicely, he'll go back and go get you a shirt now. <laughs> now with my fully intact clothes and be like, I'm good. Also, Desmond's <laughs> pants okay? Yes. Desmond's pants are fine. You got like the Hulk syndrome going on. <laughs> yeah, your pants just like shrink with you. Oh, they shrink? He's good. Like, like I mean, I mean like when you're, in beast, when you're in beast mode and then when you go back to normal mode, they shrink with you. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. You go big boy mode, and then when you go back to not big boy mode. So you're saying mode. pants, do they, they go big as well? Yes. Okay. You should have started that instead of saying they shrink, because it seems like then you it's just get smaller. <laughs> but they also get bigger. Oh. Continue. Your pants are elastic. That's it. <laughs> oh, right. Well, anyway, heaven's, heaven's going to hit Roger with, I, I, don't, I don't want to leave her here by herself. Then you may come. Accompany us. You're more than welcome. Welcome. 100%. The church has one of those balls. Oh, 100%. Yeah, the silver man has it. It's just in his prison while we're. Can you just like touch his people? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I remember when the balls are still in your ass. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know if the iron plate touches. I mean, it doesn't have an iron plate touch. Maybe it like. Oh, it did. Nothing happened. Oh, yeah, right. He did touch it twice. He did touch yeah. it twice. Yeah. What kind of shirt is Desmond getting? This isn't a fashion episode. It's a nice little one. Baggy. Desmond, stop trying to talk about you. I just want to know what shirt it is. Can we have a second Desmond episode? Uh, um, it, 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 is, it is a normal red shirt. <laughs> like, what kind of red? Binge. You mentioned my... That red. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Jeez. You guys, what are, what is Erastus? What is Erastus and Desmond doing? I'm buggering off, man. I'm good to go. Okay. 
Justin's gonna wait with Typhoon. All right. No, rest is the food. Dude. <laughs> You and oh, uh, he no, leaves no, that. No, nope, he's leaving. Typhoon doesn't want him there. Ty- I, wanted a, I wanted a not Desmond episode. Okay, Desmond's uh, gone. Ty- <laughs> okay, Desmond heads out of the sewers with uh, uh, Erastus, then, I suppose. Well, nothing to spotify. <laughs> How much time has passed since um, uh, your boy Walololol well, died? <laughs> not long. At this point, uh, people are just like starting to like begin to head out of their houses. Uh, as you climb out of the sewers, you see like a few kind of uh, careful faces uh, peeking around corners or uh, peeking through door frames, making sure that there's nothing on the streets. Um, I for that before we got cured and then like walked back into the stream. No. Open up the grate and he's like right there staring at us. Oh, I'm just <laughs> I, I wanted to hide from the silver guy. And then yeah. So they're standing above you to have a cure. <laughs> well, there he is uh, you you guys make your way out of the sewers uh, is there anywhere that you would like to go I want to okay it's been too I mean I, I want to go check out what's happening at the tower now that everyone's realizing what's happening okay you wander over to the tower make sure you know the real film trying to kill us because we yes we got ahead of stamp we really did start a political crime you as you reach the tower, you notice that none of the guards have left the tower. They're all inside. On the phone. Hello, Suddenly, the bells of the tower begin to ring again. For a second, everyone in the town like stops to look up, surprised. But as they ring, you notice a man standing at the top of the bell tower. He calls out to the people below him. Malol is dead! He was killed by one of the creatures! You people are so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> dumb motherfuckers. Dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> hello <laughs> people begin to like clamor around the bottom of the tower talking and uh one of them then points out and goes look the window where the shattered window to to Malol's, uh floor is the rest of the townspeople begin clamoring and talking. Torches are lit near the base of the tower to get a better look up at it as the bells ring out across the land. Some people head back inside their houses thinking that's another attack until they are persuaded out by the many people marching through the streets towards the tower to behold the spectacle. There is a... vibe of like the citizens. Are they shocked or are they kind of like rejoicing it's more of a general confusion like are these fucking dead Whoa. <laughs> people I'm are i'm sure some people are happy because then they're not like the council or whatever there are some that you see on the streets celebrating malol's death but there are many more that appear to be grieving it is there anything that you guys would like to do while you are outside this is gonna go to the mother gary da, 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 da. fair enough get, like, cash money mm-hmm. get that bread we'll jump yeah. back to you guys in a second can you describe the general color of the atmosphere to me? the yeah, what the color of the atmosphere uh like a kind of a dark blue it's nighttime <laughs> uh you guys begin to head you guys head to the apothecary um Arrestus, you going to the apothecary with Desmond? No, I'm going to miss getting church again. Mm. Okay. You make your way over to the church, but Desmond, you make your way to the apothecary. At the apothecary, there is 
uh, a sign on the door. It says open. So you push the door open. You hear the jingling of a small bell that's attached to the door frame. Uh, and at the other side of the room, you see, uh, what was his name? Elwood. Elwood. Yeah, I'm just... Elwood kind of like lo- looks up at you and goes, uh, Oh, hello. Oh, sorry. Well, I got so a tad excited there. Did you have what I asked for? Well... I had a bit of an unfortunate or fortunate encounter with one of the goat creatures. Unfortunately, I couldn't retrieve the whole body as it was a bit of a risk to my own health, you know, hazards all around. But yes. I was able to salvage this and he pulls out the horn. The uh, uh, Elwood kind of like scuttles around his desk and then like wanders over to you and like pushes his large goggles off uh, up onto his forehead. There are a lot of talk. Uh, he, he wanders over to you and takes the horn from your hands and goes, Aha! Interesting. Mm. We have never been given any specimen of these creatures before. I thank you for this. Uh, please, let me compensate you. He kind of, like, wanders off. Now, I did ask for the whole body of an iron beast, but a horn will do, I will say. Um, I, but I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to pay you the full 100 gold for just the horn. 75. <laughs> how, how about 60 gold pieces for the horn? You did do the job, but... And you did put yourself in danger. I will acknowledge that, but it is not the full body. Seventy. Sixty-five. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. This is the worst battering. This is yeah, horrible battering. Sixty-seven. It is then. He kind of goes into. uh, a little uh his back room and lifts open a little treasure chest that he has inside of it uh he takes out a small sack of gold and like counts out quickly uh 67 gold coins places them back in the sack and then wanders over to you here you are he throws it at you <laughs> yeah. we did it Props department. Yeah. yeah. Props department. Yeah. He hand he hands you wait, wait, guys. Can hold on. Uh Sophie, can you hold like one of like the sack like above your head, like up here, so it's out of frame? And then I'll do wait. Oh, and I'm gonna no. I'm gonna let go. Three, two, one. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. <laughs> the internet's amazing. The internet's Crazy. amazing. You could never have guessed when like, hundreds of kilometers away. No. Yeah, hundreds of kilometers. Uh, but for, well, I'm outside their house. Green screen so you can't tell. You can't tell, that's the thing. Um, actually, if I took down this green scene, you'd be able to... It's just the front of uh, Curtis's house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm across the street. Um, but yeah. He opens the, the pouch and like, quickly counts up the coins. He has given you 67 gold coins. He puts it in his little one of his little pouches, nods at the apothecary guy. Mm. I know it's Yeah. Yeah. Alwood well, seems like so invested in the horn that you just gave him. He's immediately like taken it off the counter. He's placed it under a microscope, and you watch as he's like tuning the microscope to like zoom into By the way, it. I just yeah. want to say it. Desmond would have wiped off the blood. <laughs> cool there is no evidence that you killed a man with that horn anyway desmond you leave the room 67 gold richer what is happening um, <laughs> i feel like i missed something why are they holding hands Yeah. Oh. Right, so they're talking to the dead. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, Desmond heads back to the um broken leaf cafe. Cool. Oh, team. You head back to the broken leaf cafe. Oh, oh. we did it. That was pitiful. <laughs>
Loki, Sophie, I was expecting you to do something, but okay. I'm sorry. Do what? <laughs> like, 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 while we were, uh, while, uh, after you dropped off, uh, Molly. Yeah, I know what you want me to do, but, like, I'm going to do that afterwards. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> um, I have to go back to bed eventually, so oh. I'll, I'll, see, I'll, I'll see you when we get there. That's fair. All right, well, uh... We'll go to Curtis investigating the uh, church in a little bit. Um, private for Curtis? No. <laughs> How would we do that? <laughs> yeah, get out. <laughs> no. Um, so, we continuing on. You guys are down in the sewers. Uh, you're... Oh, <laughs> perfect, thank you. Lighting change. Yep, look at that. Look at that. That's production value right there. <laughs> uh, you guys are... You guys in the sewers begin to sort of... Uh, Roderick takes you to a small operating theater. It's not really an operating theater. It's like a small, like, medical room forward slash, like, broom closet kind of area. Inside it, a couple tieflings stand. They are currently, like, working on creating what could possibly be medicines or some sort of, like, a uh, quick way of healing. As they walk in and they see you, they look at you and, and, and you pull them, and, and they, like, lift you up onto one of the chairs and pull pull it back. Uh, they kind of, like, look at you in surprise. Oh. We have never uh, operated on that uh, something like that before but we will give it a try oh my. i've been called that before so it's okay sorry yeah. we just you took us by surprise we did not realize that you were injured no we clearly got injured for like no reason um i and i just got tortured for fun but actually it's okay mm. it's okay we didn't know yeah. Sorry. <laughs> One of uh the the two like tieflings that are manning the medical station like begin uh kinda of, kinda of, kinda of begin examining. Uh they poke at like the heels uh, of your uh hooves with like these sharp instruments and you kind of wince in pain and like pull away from them and they go Ah Yeah, okay. We see what has happened. You have Oh. Yes. They have driven nails deep into your feet. I am not surprised by that. Mm. As well as that, it appears they have shattered your 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 shins. Yeah. Yeah. They shattered my shins. Great. I fall. Okay. Um. What do I do? Like. Clearly, after this, we need to, like, fuck off out of the city, but, like, what can you do? The horseshoe should be able to take, to keep you from putting pressure on the nails, but because of where they're located, it may be too risky to even remove them. Great. That's, that's fantastic. Um, do you want to move me? Am I able to walk again? Yes. We can splint your shins. It does not... The injuries look fairly fresh, I'd say, within the last day or so. So we can definitely keep them at least somewhat functional. With the horseshoes, you're... Well, you'd be able to walk, but walking without them would be extremely painful. Okay. Um. Yeah. Do what you must. Honestly, I I really don't care, as long as I am able to walk again. They kind of like nod at you, and uh, they begin to like work. Rod uh Roderick looks at uh you, um Typhon and goes. We should leave them. They're our best no. doctors. They. She said no. 
Fine. You may stay here. Thank you. He kind of, like, turns and walks out of the room, and you just stand and watch <laughs> as they, like, set to work. <laughs> Eventually, uh, after about an hour of work, they are finished. They kind of, like, stand back. Uh, you look down at your legs, and you notice that there is uh, these wooden splints placed around your uh, shins, uh, tied together with uh, gauze wrap. Your hooves have been implanted with new horseshoes uh, nailed into them uh, to create a s nice seal. One of the doctors stands back and goes, We have done what we could. Thank you. I'm sorry that this had to happen to you. Been very worse. Honestly, this is nothing. Kevin's just gonna like look to the floor, like, if this is nothing, what? <laughs> damn, girl. Oh, damn. Your shit is broken. Damn, damn girl, traumatized for real. Woo, woo. I'm almost sick and bare legs. You're a mm. sailor? Oh, are these strokes per 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 permanent? Yes. Thank you, Python. Welcome. No. But you will need to wear them for the uh, coming weeks. Coming weeks. What Two weeks mean? at the minimum. Unless you have some way of magically healing them. Yeah, I'm definitely going to him. All right. <laughs> Uh, That's probably. Are you going to try sending? Like, oh, that wasn't the first resort. It's probably with extensive surgery. Can I stand? True. Yeah. Yes, but I would not recommend it. Okay, piggyback it up. Can we go to the broken leaf? Yeah, very much. I want to sleep. And let's hope our rest is there. Why well, is it? I guess. What? Uh, is it the thing that you told me? Maybe. All right. Cool. All right. Yep. We're, we'll head off. Thank you. Um, it is no problem. How do I... Re I know horses, they replace their horses, but do I have to replace mine? Possibly. Great. Now I have to try to find a blacksmith that will allow tiefling. All right. Cool. 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 <laughs> I mean, I, I could I could always but you get, like, break the... The silence by going in first. I'm sure a dragonborn would be more. Who's home? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I think and a, a curse's garage door just opened and it's right underneath Curse's room. So we can just like feel the door. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Um, Love that. Yeah. It's awesome. So um Music Club. Yeah, we're going we're going back to oh, okay. thank you. Um, thanks. Thank you. It's no problem. Can you miss some, like, cool horseshoes? Like, like, gold horses? Spikes. Oh my god, yeah. spiky? Emo girl? Yeah. I'm interested. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're going to the front. Yeah, we're going to the, the broken that we need mine. Actually, no. Actually, what? I was going to see if I could talk to the doctor, but uh, he's not a dick. But it's not one. Okay. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah. You're gonna kill? No. No. Aww. That isn't a <laughs> okay. yeah, we're going The murder is so fun! <laughs> it's pretty great. What? Yes, yeah, keep You would never. You would never. I like it. You would never. You yeah. couldn't. Yep. Yeah. Broken leaf time. Okay. You guys head back to the uh, broken leaf. Uh, you make your way slowly back. Um, okay, you kind of like uh, throw this like hood over you uh, and to make sure that you're all covered and that you're able to not be seen as you all make your way back to the Broken Leaf. Um, with Erastus, however, heading towards the church. This is during the uh, surgery, by the way. Are you gonna do any sketchy shit that we don't want to be that we're not allowed to be here for? Um, we can't figure out a frame them. I can't. It's only useful to frame them with, unfortunately. Hmm. 
Oh, Erastus, yeah. um, you head up to the, uh, up to the church, and as you are wandering up, you see down the street uh, a procession of church go- goers uh, headed by uh, the pastor. He begin- he's making his way down the street towards you. His name is Simon. I'll approach him. Simon the Simon Cat. I agree. That's his name. Adam mm. just doesn't like it. Says Simon Simon. Mm-hmm. And he kind of looks at you for a second and then immediately turns away and walks past you. He appears to be heading towards the tower. Uh, I mean, I guess I was going to the church then. Okay. As you enter the church, you head up the stairs and see that they are wide open. It appears that those who were in the church left to go follow the commotion. You head up and you see that the main area of the church is empty. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll search around for anyone else there. Uh, Roll a perception check. Yeah, let's go check. Okay, so it's E, so it's like down, down. There we go. E for perception. It is boyfriend of 15. 15. 15. You are not able to see anyone. Okay. It appears that the church is entirely empty at this point. You know what to do, Russ. I'm going to open up the middle thing. Okay. You walk up. You walk up to the altar of the church. Do you push it? Yes. Okay. You kind of like place your hands on one side and place your weight on it. And the altar begins to slide to the side, grating against the stone floor. Underneath the altar, you see a hatch. Oh, okay. I'll I'll, I'll close it back up and then I'll open the hatch. It sees the hatch. (laughs) You, you pull the hatch open and begin to head down. While he's watching the stream, while he's cheating. Yeah, that's metagaming. <laughs> metagaming. How dare you? Do you know what's, you know what's metagaming? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't put that on the stream. There's two ways. You open the hatch and you begin to head down into the, uh, the iron hall below. Below is a tunnel that looks very similar to the one that you've seen before. It has the same geometric metal patterns along the walls that you saw. And as you begin to climb down, down into the hole, you see the same similar pedestal with an iron orb floating above it. Well, look at the kids. Oh, crazy. Okay. Sorry, Adam. It's fine. They just are the other... <laughs> other big bad, really. I just said that. Um, I don't... Hmm? Yeah. First of all, uh, let's turn her to the tech magic real quick. Okay. Uh, well, obviously, you are able to pretty easily detect magic. <laughs> what school is that boy? Fun. What, a, what is, like, a healing spell school? <laughs> right, I'm going to fight it. It would probably be an evocation one. Yeah, evocation. Or transmutation, because it does kind of transform the... Yeah. Yeah. Or like, yeah, I, I'd probably like, say yeah. transmutation because it like removes it yeah. and then like casts it onto the walls. Yeah. That feels appropriate. Yeah. Like, that's their plan. They're going to manipulate the iron economy and make millions of dollars. Oh, <laughs> open that curing business. Damn, that's crazy. Just get the iron. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it. Okay. Um, also, this is like an iron abyss. I think it's disgusting. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Too much time in the diet. It's a problem. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. 
so you you stand before this like orb. What do you do? I'm gonna get the the kind of ridiculous amount of oh, beast parts in my inventory. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna scatter them around the place. I'm gonna get <laughs> goddamn massacre. Ooh. Okay, you do that. <laughs> so Rats is finally getting rid of the beast. Once. <laughs> yeah, oh, fine. Erastus, Erastus, you kind of just hit around the room and just begin like throwing fucking arms and like body parts everywhere uh, until the room looks like it's been like something made of arms and body parts exploded in the fucking center of that room. <laughs> it's his finger. <laughs> trying to finger. Oh, uh, I'll wait to get back out and close up shot. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, to... okay. Um, uh, you turn. You turn to head back, but as you turn around, standing behind you is one of the. Uh, Simon. No, not Simon, but one of the clergymen. No, no. Um, how many are there? Just one. Just the one. He stands in front of the door, but as you look closer, you notice he sort of melted into the wall. Slightly. He steps out of the iron. Towards you. You should not be here. This is not what it looks like. What it looks like is that you are intruding on church property. I, I just wanted to make a mess so that I could clean the game. I, I need the money. You have seen too much. I'm gonna pocket the red needle. You're gonna what? My needle thing, I'm gonna pocket it. You're gonna pocket it? As or you... I'm gonna grab my, grab it's, it. it's like ready. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's ready to like. Oh. I, thought, I thought you said you were gonna put it in your pocket. I'm like, you had that out? <laughs> um. <laughs> Holding it the whole time. Yeah. The first thing is to grab it, like, conceal. Okay. It's like if you had, like, a gun in a pocket. Pretty much. Okay, you kind of, like, reach behind you. You, re you reach into your bag, and, like, you you just, like, what, 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 you just you just hold, like, the needle. He, 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 take, he, he takes another step towards you and goes, Adam, you have you seen too much. Adam, can you roll? I, I have a look from the head priest saying that I can be here. He takes like a st he he stops for a second. Show me the note. Right, I'm gonna pull it with my my left hand. <laughs> what, if I have paper on me, I'll grab that. Anything really. Oh, it's in my other clothes. Yeah, it's in my other clothes. <laughs> you pull up like just a scrap of paper. There's nothing written on it. Uh, do you hand it to him? I'll, 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 like, step forward, yeah, and, and, and hold it out to my, like, left. Okay. He turns to look at the note and, like, goes to take it from your hand. I'm gonna, then, I leave it to slide a hand roll, try and trip him with the okay. pointy. Do you want to do it? It's not my fault. Alright. Let me, let me wait, wait for the deal. Roll, uh, roll side of hand to try and stab it with the needle. Oh, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's not my responsibility. Oh, oh yeah! Six. It's a six. It's a six? Well, at least you... you for the setup. No. Because <laughs> I'm going to describe what happens. You, like, as he goes to grab the thing, um, you take the, uh, the needle and you try and stab it into his neck. At first, the needle, like, sinks into the neck, but then he kind of just turns his head to look towards you. And you notice that he isn't frozen. Um, now what do you do? Run? Yeah, I guess it's better than run. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> he, <laughs> he turns towards you, roll initiative. <laughs> oh no. With advantage. Is it with advantage? Yeah, I have the, this one mic. Okay. Here. Well, number one is a 17, and then number two. Is a net 20. Net 20? Okay. 
you have the first turn. You have the first turn then. What would you like to do? See, this is the problem that Adam was saying existed. Yeah. This wasn't in my plan. What spells do I have? I always forget. I'm pretty sure they're all useless. Well, just you're implied it, but you should know where the spells are. And they stay right there. Do you know that one section you've never had to use before in your entire life? Go find that right yeah, now. Yeah, that one section that I've never had to click. <laughs> Pretty much objectively most fun section in D&D. Uh, the sacred hey, flame. There you go. Sacred flame, yeah. I only have one damage spell. I guess I'm just run. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll disengage, yeah. You're trying to disengage from him? Okay. Only one. Also, it's a wisdom saving throw, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And he's a, a priest, so probably not particularly great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who knows the decks, but and he, the as far as we know, he's not corporeal anyway. So. Yeah, this guy seems a little suspect. Mm. Maybe yeah, I, do, I, I I see his run. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. Second plan. I'm gonna grab the flowers still in my pocket. Not in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's you... put some inventory minus paper. <laughs> we'll have that. You never grabbed it. You grab one of the flowers, um, you from from your thing. Are you gonna try and like stuff it in his face? <laughs> yeah, that's stuff it in his face. Okay, um, that's I'm gonna describe funny. what happens. Uh, you take the flower, you like kind of like squish it in your hand and like stuff it in his face to get like the full fragrance out of it, right? Uh, he he kind of like takes a step back. Uh, as you stuff it in his face, nothing happens though. This man is definitely not organic. It's not Marvel that actually works. He came out of the Iron War, right? It, yes. It is now his turn. Oh, <laughs> what's he gonna do? Is his hand go As. Or... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as, he, as he looks at you, you <laughs> notice his like arm and the cl oh, and, and gown know. takes on the silvery sheen. And the his arm elongates into a long blade. <laughs> It, he he kind of flicks it forward so it clicks against the middle wall. And then he is going to try and lunge at you with the blade. And is going to miss for his first attack. Luckily. I only have one more trick up my He lunges at you and his hood comes back revealing that his head is just like completely silver. It is not a human head. It is smoothed over in nature to form the general shape of a human face, but without the any of the features. Oh, cool. T-1000. I don't know how much Terminator he is, but we can beat him. Yeah. Does anyone have any liquid nitrogen? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just looking at images of T-1000. Yeah. Okay, um... Inspiration. Yeah, I do. Uh, okay, L L last plan of attack. Because I can't, I have no freezing spells. I'm just gonna see this guy. No liquid nitrogen. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna grab the box of triangles and my, my horrible, horrible mangled finger. Okay, you grab the box of triangles and your horrible mangled finger. I put my finger in the box of triangles. You place the mangled finger, the mangled triangular finger, finger in the box of triangles, take a step backwards and hit the button. The box begins to shake for a second, and then there's a digging sound. Let's see what you get. <laughs> I really hope nothing, like, nothing useful. Let's find out. It's, it's just shattered. I, I, I just like break it in my hands. Okay. I'm keep it in my hand. I don't know what the box is wrong. That is 34. I this... I don't know, but they're, they're very loud, so I wouldn't use them. Oh, the grip. I don't know. Molly had them in there. No, I did. No, I think I'm pretty sure Ben gave it to you to go thing thing. It also might just be somewhere in the room. Yeah. Oh well, we'll run away. I mean, I found the more important okay. thing. Oh, can you do that? Oh, that's so great. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> er Erastus. Erastus, you press the box of triangles. It shakes for a second, dings, the top of it opens, and as it opens, you feel like 
you suddenly just can't smell. Like, there's just no sense around you at the moment. Oh, we can't, so every sense of smell is so Obviously, this Terminator-esque enemy relies on smell. Yeah, it's totally. It's very poor fraction, and as you wouldn't be able to see very well. Yeah. <laughs> totally, totally. That is totally how it works. Uh, it is now his turn. He is going to make another attack against you. <laughs> uh, what is your AC? Sixteen. Okay, he misses again. I'm just. I'm rolling pretty. You. What is happening? It's too. You guys. You guys are getting very distracted. Um. He lunges at you again, and this time, like, you kind of, like, stumble out of the way. You, like, try and pocket the box of triangles as you, like, uh, step away from him. Um, he, uh, kind of, like, walks past you, and he stands between you and the orb. Oh. Oh, I can just... Wait, it's all... Yeah, I'm, I'm by the exit then, right? Yeah. Actually, how, how sturdy does he look? Have I actually, like, touched him at all? When I, when I stuck the, the, the spiral down his face, did he actually, like, when I moved him, is what I'm asking. Um, he did take a step back. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to push him into the, the stir. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Shove action. Okay. So, uh, roll to shove. At the, at the, at the end. What would that be? Is it, is that, no, it's a, I think it's just a general strength, isn't it? Big action. Uh... Let's see. see. No, it's a, uh, it's a, it's an action. Wait, what, what? No, actually, sorry. Go on. Uh, uh, actually, you can I make to... you can make a special oh, melee no. attack to shove a creature. Right. Either. Uh, right next to such. No. No. Close. Yes. Make it's make a melee. make a make an athletics check contested by the target strength. It's just a well, athletics. Right. Yeah, it's an athletics roll. Oh, that's pretty high. Oh Nine. my god, you are playing Sophie. Yeah, Sophie. They're all horrible and so bad. Alright. Against, against his strength, though. So we'll see. Okay. Uh, I rolled an awful again. That was a three. You are able to push him. <laughs> you're good enough. Luckily. You you give a push. It doesn't feel like your strongest push, but he was like slightly off balance after that last attack. You shove him into the orb. His body kind of like convulses for a second as it hits the orb, and then suddenly you feel you. It just explodes. The silver goes sh flying across the room to all over the walls and splats against it. But as you watch, you notice the silver as it begins to drip down the walls, forming, trying to reform. You have a chance to escape now. Okay. You turn, you turn and begin sprinting. You like pull yourself out of the uh out of out of the chasm you like drag yourself out of the room and down oh, boy, the hatch, turn around make eye contact with the, the liquid forming which go mm. the best <laughs> you make liquid you make eyes with the you make eyes with the liquid guy as he's like kind of following you up the tunnel you go i'll be back and then you close the uh the hatch <laughs> And move the, the fucking and, 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 and yeah, you yeah. move the move the thing on top of it. Yes. Maybe we can still frame them. Maybe this door is still frame them. Fine. I don't worry. Like the church anymore. Mm. The church is a little bit. I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna pop it, guys. Yo. He just has. He just has the horn. Oh no. <laughs> if they ask him, are we for killing me? Yeah. You know, arrest and Okay. What are you doing? You ran out of the way. I'm running still. Yeah, I'm just going to run back to the end. Okay. You all eventually end back up at the Broken Leaf Cafe. Arrestus, you arrive to Desmond uh, talking to Calcifer first. Talking to Calcifer? What are you doing? He's gone. So Desmond's having a little bit of a nap and a mook session. I'm okay. Rough, actually, right? Yeah, he's actually and then getting into his new clothes. Okay, maybe he's having a bath. Okay. <laughs> you you 
Oh yeah. He's so clothes. he's washing his clothes. He didn't know where they came from, and that's so up. Exactly. Yeah. He's washing his clothes. Then he's going back up to his room to mope. Okay. As you are uh, as you are walking up to your room, uh, you see as uh, he's listening. Yeah. As you are walking up to your room, you see as uh, Erastus comes running into the uh, the building. Mind you, Erastus is sprinting, so yeah. you gotta you gotta act accordingly, Desmond. Yeah. Erastus literally kicks the doors open and like sprints in. You know how like, yeah, gonna, like, stairs, like I feel like it's the same energy as like a kid when you like, turn the lights off and you're running up the stairs. Yep. Yeah, literally. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. Except you know, real. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not because of uh, rock thing, but it's real for me. Yeah. What's your horror movie? Yeah. Oh, well, I think it's next. Okay, but yeah, we're going back again. We're getting distracted, guys. Guys, come on. Guys, come on. Well, you might be at our own houses, Adam. Sorry, Desmond. Okay, he's just kind of staring at Erastus. Looking up and down, seeing if there's anything like visibly wrong with him. Like if any kind of his robe is damaged or if he's been injured. No, I don't know if I've ever gone. I'm too good at combat. Mm. Obviously. <laughs> Unlike Desmond, you got his ass kicked. Unlike Desmond. You got beat up by an old okay. woman. He is. And Desmond just kind of like goes up stairs. He just is his hair. Like, What's oh, this? Yeah. So he just put a roof in like five minutes. Exactly. Like and subscribe. Oh. oh no! This is a ghost the dark, door. The dark gallery. The dark gallery. Uh, you you see as like uh, Erastus runs in. You kind of just shrug at it and then like turn to walk away. Erastus, what do you do? That was a different Erastus. <laughs> you you kind of like you you like straight out. You like take it take it like a breather and you're like yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Um, I'll leave the court just for, for I'll, 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 I'll have a sit down. Okay. okay. You, you, you wander over to like one of the other like parts of the room and you just kind of plonk, plonk down and you take a sit and take a breather. <laughs> All right. Uh, around this time, about maybe 10 minutes after like sitting down, uh, the, uh, Typhon and, uh, Lexori come in. Yeah, I'm just taking you back in next morning. Hmm. What? Am I taking you back to your room? I assume. I assume. Wait, are we all playing this? Oh, I'm just asking. Role play, guys. Are you assume so? Oh, okay. Which one's your room? Um, and one's Desmond. Is by the way, is it rest? Can we just in my room? I'm sitting in the. Oh, yeah, we well, you can see Erastus, I guess. Yeah, you, you see Erastus. He's just kind of sitting there at one of the tables. I'm just saying Erastus. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm just allergically drowning. Erastus, you're choosing it. You're smiling. No, it's not. Just don't smile. Just, can I have a favor? Yeah, just, you've got more pressing matters than favors at the moment, but okay. She needs to walk, and she wants to ask you to heal her. Can you just heal my fucking legs? I don't want to wear splints in here. Speak nicely to the guy that's going to heal you. I don't know why you didn't come to me in this room. Uh, pay payment. Please. Erastus. Erastus, you learned to get gold for handing us in. That's your payment. I want your firstborn child. Er Erastus, you can have that. Uh, I'll, like, I'll sit there and go, yeah, you definitely need to be able to run for what comes next. And I'm like, I'm just going to I'm just going to start healing you. Okay. I can't remember what fucking heals are. Well, oh, the spells are high. Which one is the biggest D multiplier? Check, uh, check, check, check second level. Check the D's. Fifty-six. That's a enhanced bit. It's been three HP. The one below it. You can heal Typhon as well. Oh, you could, yeah. Not myself, just for some extra like. Yeah. Actually, I don't know how many people can be. Prayer healing is things everyone. Prayer healing is ten minutes. To cost it, click it. Okay. Just click. Just click this. Click that. What? What? Click. Just click. Yeah, thank you. Duration instant. Up to six creatures of your choice within range. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give her a prayer killer, I suppose. Okay. Uh, you s you kind of like sit down, like place your hands uh, together, and the, 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 the box is to the right. 
<laughs> you sit down and you place your hands together and you begin to like let out this chant. You slowly uh, let out this sort of humming chant. Uh, and the light of the darkest star begins to like glow down upon you slightly harder. Um, over time, you guys start feeling slightly more better. How much, how many, how much heals do they get? Ten. 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 Okay, you guys get ten points of healing each. I'm pretty sure Yarn would want to go. No, he, oh. it was two before I cooked it. Uh, uh, I did Augury. Oh, did oh, Augury. Oh, did Augury. Did you? Yeah. Again. Yeah. It was like a long rest ago. It's fine. I promise it was two yeah. before I did it. Um, he was like, after, like, um, like, sorry, she's gonna. Can I take off the splints? I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> no, she's gonna keep them on. She's like, I'm what? I'm interested in him for you. Yeah, I'm interested in him. Alright. Okay. She's got that. Five minutes can, like, put her down. I'll do a medicine check to see how much her legs are healed. Okay. Medicine um, check. Okay. Okay. It's at nine, dude. Nine. Um, it will take some more rest. Okay. Can I stay out? Still stand? They're better, you can stand, but it's like kind of painful and awkward to stand. Is that like a, if she stands and leaning on me? Um, she's gonna like turn to time and it's like, can you just take me up to the Thank you, Erastus, of course. I'm just gonna continue sitting there looking a little bit shell shell. Erastus is just like, Tony's just gonna nod at Erastus. The horrors of realizing that Tony is here. Yes. Sit back in time. Are you sure you're okay? Interesting. I'm not surprised. Hey, I'm going to take some of the stuff. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. their fault. Yeah. 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 It's going to take like 20 minutes. After that, we'll. I don't know. I can do the same thing. I'm going to drop off and go help shoot. Okay. She's going to drop off, then just like. Those dudes in there. She's just like, thanks. I have to go see Calcifer after I drop off. Okay, you wander up to the uh, to the rooms and you kind of like drop uh, off. You each each one of you like goes up individually to your rooms and takes yeah. the big snooze. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm not sleeping. I'm going to the roof. <laughs> yeah, Desmond's okay. not sleeping yet either. I mean, I am seeing Calcifer unless I'm having a big snooze before that because I'll take it. I'm yeah. sleeping. You're not. Um, you're you're not going to bed, Desmond. Well, not yet. Well, oh. when Lexori, I'm assuming, is it Lexor and Typhon or just Lexor that's going to be popping in? Oh. You'll be, oh. you'll, exactly. So you'll be both popping in. So you'll both see. Hmm. Desmond's just kind of sitting, like. Oh, ask Desmond if he's okay. <laughs> oh, you don't have to talk. That's fine. He's just, he's just sitting. Yeah, it's fine to not sound very believing. So it's fine. Yeah. fine. We, have to talk, we have to talk to Desmond. Yeah, he's moping. Just let him mope. He's looking, he's sitting crisscross applesauce on his bed. The pouch next to him, you guys don't know it's the money, you just see a pouch, and he's looking at the um, map of Piscata, and he's got like, I'm assuming he would have a pen with him, like some sort of writing implement, and he's just kind of like pointing at different places, and just kind of like, looks like he's plot What are you doing? It. Why don't you say that as I'm looking down on the bed, so you have... Yeah. What are you doing? Figuring out where to go next. That's a good idea. Oh, we're gonna be killed. A political leader. I don't think we're gonna be here for long. No. And you mm. have what Arrestus just said. Arrestus looks terrified, might I add. Yeah, I don't like if Arrestus is terrified, we should be he very not? worried. It's true. Why does he not look terrified? Yeah. Um, that would have been solemn face. Desmond. Desmond? Mm-hmm. Where are you guys going? Like, are you leaving us or are you you're coming? I'm trying to figure out where to go, as a group. Well, I'm just getting a head start on it because I didn't want to intrude on anything else. Intrude? Intrude. We literally have been tortured, Desmond. It's a bit different than... Say, and like, what happened before it caused you? Here's my first death day. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get tortured! <laughs> Do 
been true was the wrong word. Didn't want to get in your way. Just wanted to leave you two because I feel terrible. Why do oh. you feel terrible? Don't wear that. Is, is Why... it because then we got tortured? Yes. Like, we offered to do it. We knew what was going to happen. It was, a, it was a horrible idea on my part. No. Sorry. But what other option was there? We didn't realize how easy it would be. Yeah. Mm. We appreciate it. Well, saving. Well, of course. It was my unfortunate idea that got you into that mess. Technically, it wasn't just yours. It was all of us. We all agreed on it. Unfortunately, it just meant that Lexoria and I were the ones who had to go through with it. Mm. Not you. Yes. None of this is your fault, Desmond. It feels like it. Well, it might, but that just might be because you're a good person. Yeah. Do you know how I died? No, I don't know how anyone here died. Well, except me, I guess. You told me a little bit. Torture. Exact same situation. Beast hunters. Unpleasant. And I obviously didn't make it out like you two did. We were just lucky. We wouldn't have made it out if it wasn't for you. Mm, which is why I understand what it's like. To a degree. I'm sure the techniques have gotten better. Better? It probably is me. But it was me. Mm. So you got tortured. Mm -hmm. Does that explain the shackles and the. Um. Yeah. yeah. In part. Unfortunately, to. What did they take away from you? Hmm? Did they take my stuff away? They took my horns? They took my scales. What did they take from you? Well, there isn't anything really to take away from me. So I guess it's just your existence, really. Mm. I was never told. What that thing is made from. Oh, your, where's your... Well, I told Liv sorry in case he died, so someone knew, really. Mm. But... People know I'm here. People I made very angry. People died well. The reason I'm dead. Well, was. Oh. That's... not good. No. That's why Elspeth came to my room to warn me. Oh. You're now informed. I... Thank you. I hate to tell you this while you're planning, but... Trust me, it's said it's true, but... I'm pretty well known to... Not great reasons there. Where? I don't know. People were part of the, the group that killed me. Okay. I'm not exactly easy to blend in. Obviously, none of us are. Fine. Just be wary. Mm. They've killed me before. No doubt they'll try again. Mm. I love. I didn't want to leave you out, but I couldn't. How far away are the beds, by the way? Just please. How what? I, I just imagine you guys are sitting on the beds and Typhon standing in the middle. So yeah. it's kind of like. They're not far. Like, at most, a couple meters like, apart. Is it like reachable? Like, is those sort of just like. Yeah. I'm just gonna fucking. Yeah. I'm just gonna fucking. I was like, this! <laughs> It's like a friendly consciousness kills him. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage to get? All right. Yeah. So if I like reaches out, like, it, like if she can't, like, to hold, like, just is to hold his head. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Pyman's gonna get the fuck out. Nothing. You. Yeah. Prop department. Yeah. Prop department. Sorry. Yeah. This yeah. is doing. So well, this is a hundred percent unrelated. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. 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 A prop department. Oh. Oh, oh, you didn't have to. No, okay. Okay. I'm the beat department. That's okay. my job. Okay. Yeah, yeah, continue. Shit. Yeah. You reach over and hold his hand. He's so sweet. Yeah, I know. He's weak. I'll say. Someone put the hand in front of the camera, please. That did nothing. Oh, there we go. What? Um. Uh, 
like she holds like this, like not your fault. Like we're in this myth, regardless. Um, that is out to be killed again. And then Ted has to show me. Yeah. Did not. Because my ship was oh. nice. Really? You think so? A little annoying, but it's part of the job. That's that's a good thing that I was nice. We'll go on for you, Mr. Chris, please. Oh. Any time you can be like, romance, dude. I'm trying to. Friends. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> um. Bring it up. I just know. I was just like, um, if you don't mind, Jason, I'm just gonna go sleep. Um, I'm in immense pain right now. That's okay. You don't worry. If I'm. Doing anything to keep you awake, let me know. No, I'm just more worried. I'm gonna keep you awake. I don't know if I'm gonna scream, night terrors. I don't know. It's fine. We haven't slept for a while. Which none of us have. Yeah. Been... Uh, how does your Kelsey feel about you? He was down by the bar. Oh, and Desmond tosses the coin pouch to the Titan. <laughs> what is that? Money. For what? For what? <sighs> I'm guessing. So, job prospects that you were looking at earlier? Mm, I managed to uh, get a souvenir from there. Yeah. Oh, yes, I should throw it. Sorry. Nothing that they would miss because it was something I brought in. How much? It was the go creature. That's that. It was one of the horns. That's what I gave them. I'm not going to be cryptic about it. Didn't you kill the lore with the horn? Did you at least claim it? Yes. Yeah, that's not that dumb. I'm not gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. How did he get through the Sixty-seven. 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 Three. 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 Four. 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 Thirty-three gold, but then it would be like five silver. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stop doing math. It, it's it's small. Okay. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Like, oh yeah, and you need to pay taxes. Oh um, shit, dude. Yeah. What's the GST like? So. Okay, so we got money. Wait, so five silver, right? Thirty-three gold and five silver. Mm-hmm. Should I say? Should we just say thirty-two gold and five silver? Yeah. Because then the math adds up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty-seven. Yeah, sixty-seven. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh no, that would be right. That would be right. Hey, yeah. no fucking math. Um. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, fine. Yeah, you might. But, well. Um. Um. I use not broken it. You're. You're really good. I mean, you're welcome to join. There's no even business. Ralph, well, you know. Hold it. Would it be wise? Do I? Do you want me there? Well, there's nothing inherently bad, so it doesn't mind me. Um, I'd rather keep some of your company for now. I don't want to be alone. Very, very well. Dog? It's daytime! <laughs> the dog is still so cold! Yay! The sun just starts beaming. We're like, guys, what are you doing? Oh, that's the end of us going dark. Let's go. We're going to a more confident adventuring party. <laughs> Adventure? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, yeah. I'm outside the, the green lash is hitting my fucking eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you don't. No, it's just my foot's numb. Dude, just like if you if you don't mind, just mean like it's okay if you want to go. Yes. Do you think that's my fault? No, gold. Gold. Oh, gold? Yeah. Are you still calculating gold? No, I'm <laughs> adding in her gold. Oh. Yeah, I like, did the math. You, you do, need this, Adam. Like, you do, if you don't mind, like. I mean, I'm quite happy to stay. That's probably easier for you. Yeah. I don't know what's going to go happen to me, and um, I don't know if I'll go insane again. I, hopefully not. It was quite terrifying. In any case, you guys have your own money that you it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, very right. We don't like seeing things. Uh, anyway, we can head out and find a house for ourselves. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to. You know where to find me. So sorry, it's the same for you, but you probably just call out. Like, I think you should probably be walking. No, I'm gonna be sleeping. 
Yeah. Mm. Mr. Devil. Alright. You get up and you go and wander out and find Calcifer. He's basically where he normally is at the bar, sort of kind of like cleaning up drinks and stuff like that. Um, he looks at you as you arrive. Ah! Hello. Hey. No. Uh, I could be better. No, you don't look great, to be completely honest. Well, let's just say being tortured in a clock tower is no fun. Oh. No, I suppose it wouldn't be. You were being tortured in the clock tower? Yeah. Are you okay? Now, yeah. Then not so much. But let's not talk about that. I'm here for another reason. Uh, uh, go ahead, yeah. Sure. Does Typhon just, like, notice the tattoos immediately? Yeah. Like, is that funny? He's got his sleeves rolled up. Like, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna like, say like, even like, before now, you at yeah. least, like, were like, I, like, picked oh. up on them. It was like, yeah. hello. You picked huh. them up? I just had, like, no... If I just grab... Uh, your tattoos. Yes. Runes, right? Observant. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Well, I had some, and now I don't, so... Giant is a... Fun language. He kind of looks at you. Ah. So you're what? Curious and learning a few. A few, yes. Well, who am I to stop you? He kind of like lifts out his like arm, and you see like along his like forearm. Uh, along the middle, he's got like this engravement, engravement of like certain runes. These are the runes that I have engraved in giant. I guess I think picks out fire and stone because that's mm -hmm. the ones I have. Those are the ones you like immediately re recognize. I'm like, I know what those look like. Yes, fire and stone. You like carefully kind of like scribble them down on like a piece of paper so you get like the exact like drawings of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you have your rune abilities now. Congratulations, you've finally unlocked them. 11 episodes in. <laughs> I can do my character class. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Anyway. I didn't get beaten up by a granny anymore. I didn't, get, I didn't get beat up by the granny. I got beat up by her goons. Go back and beat her up. I was tempted to do that. <laughs> You're gonna go go back and beat up an old lady. Let's go. Yeah, probably, she'll probably actually kill me this time. Probably. Right. Um, before Typhon leaves, Typhon's gonna be like, "Have you heard anything more about you know what?" No. It's all quiet on all ends. Yeah, Typhon's gonna skedaddle to bed and have a nap. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna oh, right. say that you guys pass the night bed. very quickly. Yes. This will Quick, I promise. Desmond's okay. just gonna like leave like sorry stuff back by her bed that he took, like the scimitar, the and the free poisons, and then he's gonna go to Catherine's room to return the the one in these actual exactly. Books. Yep. Yeah. You guys will have that back now. Okay. All right. Well, you probably well either you're asleep or like you're probably asleep. Oh, so you're probably close to home showing. Uh, yeah. The first thing Typhon is gonna do when he wakes up is put the armor back on. Okay. Uh, Wait. Well, first. You guys sleep. Yeah. You guys are going to all individually go back to your beds after dropping off all the items and you all fall asleep. Yay. And we are going to take a short 10 minute break. If you're still watching, thank you very much. Uh, we will be back very soon. Um, in that time, how about you go to the toilet? Go get a drink of water. Go do something fun. I don't know. If you're still watching... Go, 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 go be you, you know? Why not? And we'll be right back. See you soon. Bye. Bye. We're back! Holy Jesus Christ, Curtis, you look fucking crazy. Look at that, man. <laughs> crazy Man's good looking. Crazy good looking. Oh my God. That was sensual, Ben. Anyway, we're back. And you guys huh? just woke up. What are you doing, uh, Molly? Yeah, we, we had a fat nap. You had a fat nap, uh, and you just woke up. Congratulations. Welcome back to the world of the living.
<laughs> How was like sorry sleep? Was she screaming? Yeah, was she screaming? Yeah, like sorry, roll for roll roll constitution for not having night dearest. Okay, constitution saving or just constitution? Constitution save and throw, please. Oh, oh. Take kind of shows that I'll scream. You see, that's okay. This is me. Is yeah. Well, oh, do you want to show the other one as well? Because I was hoping. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Um, you have one night terror. <laughs> How audible is it? Uh, it's a ah! and then just silence. Oh. There you go. Uh, eventually, eventually you all wake up. You all rise and shine. You stretch. You go, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm up, wake. Uh, oh, no, my shirt has less buttons. Oh, no. Uh, I draw my pencil. Uh, no. It, eventually, eventually, you all manage to wake up successfully. You're all awake. You, you, you make your way down to the uh, down, down, down below. All, all except for one of you. As you wake up, you notice, however. That like sorry is missing. For fuck's sake, dude. What? I got wonders. Sorry, this <laughs> I went lucky. <laughs> Where did I go? Where you went? They don't know. You kind of wake up, Desmond. You open your eyes and you see that like sorry is not in her bed. Yeah, wish yeah. Desmond's gonna like slowly get out of his bed, just kind of looking around the room, walking towards her bed, trying to see if there's any sign of like what could have happened. You kind of like sit up in your bed and slowly make your way off it. You look around the room. The only thing that you can see is well, nothing. Wait, no, I think nothing. Can you guys not have, stop having silent, like, <laughs> arguments about coke? <laughs> you... You don't see anything. Doesn't seem like there's any signs of a scuffle or anything. So she just had to lift? Okay, so there's no, like, blood or anything, or, like... No. It's just... Okay. Is, is there a window in this room? There is. Okay, Desmond's gonna, like, first thing, just check the window. Because... Okay. Some idiot thought going out the window was a good idea last night. So. You find that the lock of the window is broken. Oh my god, it's broken? He's gonna like open it up and look out the window. You don't see anything on the ground or is anything. Any really? Or. No, it's just a, it's just a window. Okay. Desmond's gonna, like, look around the room one more time. Mm. Not expecting anything to, like, jump out, but just kind of, like, just in case. And then he's gonna head downstairs. You see, uh, Typhon and Erastus downstairs. Uh, they're just sitting at one of the tables, uh, waking up. Perhaps getting some breakfast. They're at the table. Yeah. We've got good room, we slept at the table. We got too drunk, we slept at the table. Desmond's gonna then just kind of like slowly approach them, but like looking around the, the like bar area. I'm just gonna see, is there any sign of our favorite people? Is there any sign of our favorite people? Yeah. No. Oh. I'm just there, yeah. I'm just there, just smoking, 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 yeah, no, she's dealing with a troubled alcohol. Yeah. Anyways, um, he's gonna walk over to Al's room. Do you two know where the left door is? He's in her room, no? Not when I woke up. Uh. Um. Nowhere else around where this is. Should we check the sewers? 
that's the only lead I can think of. At least for now. We can try it. Erastus, you can move. Erastus? You're close enough to do the voice now. Ah, I probably want to do the voice. Okay, but then it's embarrassing in front of people. I'll follow, I'll follow up there. It is embarrassing. Okay. You guys begin to head down towards the sewers. I will now, however, ask the three of you, except for Molly, to leave the room. Oh, fuck out. Oh, fuck out. Fuck out. Fuck out. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let our bodies hit the floor. Let our bodies hit the floor. Oh. Hit the floor. <laughs> it was crazy. It's wondering where that went. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you go. Go. Why am I a cat boy? Why was I a cat boy for a second? Ah! Jesus. Wait. No! Okay. Let me have my lore drop. Sorry, I have to show my art. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is, this is a really, I'll, it's this a really good, beautiful. it's a really good picture of me, Curtis. I can't believe you drew that whole thing. Yeah, from scratch. <laughs> yeah, from scratch. Close the door. Oh, don't steal my shit. I'm not. I will steal the shit. Hello. Wait. <laughs> Hello. Like, sorry, you awaken inside of the room with the iron orb. As you open your eyes, you recommend, you recognize the uh, intricate steel and iron patterns in, laid on the walls. And you sit up, you find yourself looking around. The orb hovers in front of you. You stand up and you hear a voice from behind you. There is a tinge of strangeness to the voice, a metallic echo of sorts. Beautiful, isn't it? Why am I here? You turn around. You're not bound down by anything. There's no ropes holding you. Standing behind you, in a rather straight back, he kind of looks down upon you, is the Silver Man. Lord. He walks past you, his bare feet planking gently against the metal floor. Luxoria is visibly like frightened seeing the like silver man. Yep. What do you want from him? Please. The only tiefling in Trand that I haven't met. Hello. Hello. Um are you first off? Are you here to kill me? No. No. Of course not. No, I am here to talk with you. I believe you would be of good help to me. To you? Yes. Why? Why should I help you? Well, we share similar motivations. We know who you are, Lixori. Lixori, like, visibly tenses up a little bit. The woman of the woods. The forest green. Most wouldn't be able to place their fingers on a single figure from a single fairy tale, but someone who has lived as long as me. Well, they've seen a few things. Um, there, um, what do you want? I, I, I know what I did, and I... I would yes. like to help you. You see, 
I am part of a underground church of sorts. We are part of a church. But the church of the Iron God. Do I know Adam? Do I know anything like led to that? No. Right. Nothing immediately springs out to you. A church that you may be familiar with due to your present condition. Well, well, um, I'm not sure what you're wanting to do. Assist us. You see, there's a reason that I brought you and you alone down here to meet me. The others, though they are kind, kindness is not what I am seeking. I am looking for a killer. Someone who can help me exterminate humanity. Oh, I'm sorry, ex exterminate? Yes, exterminate. Rid ourselves of them. Destroy them. For a good cause, of course. Humans or people like us? Not people like us. No. People like us, like Sora. People... Blessed by the Iron Plague. Yes. Very odd. I do you not I... find yourself blessed, Luxori? Please do. Not anymore. The Iron Plague has gifted you horns. A trait humans would not have. The Iron Plague has gifted you vitality, life. An infernal nature. Things that no human could ever begin to comprehend. Yet, though we are superior in all things in our nature, they kill us. You knew this better than any other. Yes. Yeah. They killed yeah. you, after all. They did. And you killed them. Hold on, Adam, don't continue. <laughs> Move away from the door. You're, you're still going. You're still going. Go away. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Welcome back. And they killed you. And you killed them. Mm -hmm. I actually might turn. Yeah, they killed me. I... You see. Like, sorry, you have a true hatred for humans, don't you? One can say that. And so do I. You see, they sh do not appreciate our gifts. They kill us, tear us apart, destroy us. Torture. Torture. Right. Um, yes. And for what? Enjoyment. Knowing Perhaps. Being safe. They want to see us walking around. I'd say for fear. Mm -hmm. For fear yeah. that we will do unto them destruction. And do you know what they have brought upon themselves with that fear? Hatred? Yes. Like, sorry. I'm not going to mince words with you. What do you want? I wish to revive a sleeping god. One who is a father and a harbinger for all of our kind. 
for dragonborn tieflings, for all those blessed by the Iron Plague alike. The Inhuman. Your friends. Even Desmond. I want you to help me spread the Iron Plague to humanity. I, I've already put two of my teammates in the net. I, I... Not them. They've been kind to you, haven't they? They have. They do not deserve it. I can't cure them if I do it again. Then you shall spread to them. I don't want to kill them. You don't have to. I don't want to. One is inhuman, and the other is barely human. He's not even a human. Like, sorry. What? I'm not asking you to kill the ones you love. I'm asking mm. you to kill the ones you hate. I am asking you to spread the Iron Plague to all those who have scorned you, who have hated you. I'm pretty sure the people who killed me are long dead. No, their ancestors live, and their ancestors live. Every single one of them lives in the hatred in the despise, in the despicable nature that they have enacted upon your kind. Your right to be angry, your right to be scared. They have done you wrong. I am aware of that. I... Have they ever I... shown you mercy, kindness? Oh. No. <laughs> you were just tortured. Brutally. Your horns cut, your hooves broken, legs destroyed, because they hated you. For what? Why did they hate you? Because I'm... I'm an abomination. I, no. I like, sorry, you are no abomination. You are beautiful. And you can get your revenge on them, on everyone. On all that despise you. And all that stood aside. How do you want me to kill them? I wish for you to bring them to me. What? On the next raid. When my armies march through the cities, you will assist me, along with the rest of the tieflings, in rounding up humanity. Every man, woman, and child who stood aside and let the punishment and pain that they brought upon our kinds. Okay. I want you to find them, round them up, bring them to me. And they shall be few for the Iron God. Okay. I'm no bard. I can't round up the people. No one. Would you will them. have help. The other tieflings. They will assist you. I can't. I assume I can't tell my other teammates things. You may tell who you choose. But I find that your teammates are kind, ignorant. They will not understand your pain. They will not understand what needs to be done. No, they won't. They will wonder where you have gone. I suggest you tell them that you met with the leader, that he was another tiefling, one of average stature, 
green skin, blue eyes. Wait, wait, what kind of skin? Sorry. Green. Um, green skin, blue eyes. All right. Um. That he was charming, perhaps. Interesting that you talked with him in private as you did not want to bother the rest of them. And that, well, things are fine. Perhaps tell them the next step in the plan is simply to parade through the streets, to make their presence more known. <laughs> I'm sorry to spring this all upon you. No. Um. If I ask a name, what is your name? You can tell them my name is Elrin. And I hear that your name is as in older men. That is how you shall refer to me. Interesting. Um, uh, if, um, I know you say that, I am just curious, if I refuse, you will not be harmed if you refuse. We will allow you to leave Trand. However, the plan will still be enacted. Okay. Um. No! Don't come in! It's going to take on the food! It's been too long. like 20 minutes. I'm still having more. Molly, I hope you're having a fun time. I'm having a fun time. Get the fuck out. Uh, Love you too. Uh, sorry, Primus just wants to throw on the food, man. Out the fucking. Close the door. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, um. So we round them up, parade them through the street, streets. Um, how? Um, I am so sorry. Um, bring them here. Where's here? Down into the tunnel. You know where we are. Okay. Our friend. Roderick, he would have shown you this earlier today. Take them here. I will be waiting with open arms. And we can end the tyranny of humanity once and for all. The only way I can think of luring them here is they just think there's cures here. I'm afraid in the end. I won't. No. In the end, we may have to resort to more violent methods to corral them. There are so many of them. I... <clears throat> and now that you have freed the other tieflings, there are many of us. A few stragglers that escape the herd will not affect us. As long as we can corral the majority. What do you say? Are you ready? Good. You may leave. One more thing. Yes. What happens to Desmond and Rastus if they find out? They may live. If I get the plague again. But if they attempt to interfere they will die if they find out they will be fine but I think me and you both know especially Desmond they won't stand idly by no they won't no so let's keep this a secret between me and you. Understand? I understand. Wonderful. You may go. 
you stand up and begin to head out of the tunnel. You can call the rest in now. Okay, I'm pulling them back. Oh my god, I always say, I did kind of cry a little bit, so. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Okay. They're just gone. They're, go, go run up, find them. I'll, I'll entertain the stream. Oh, I'm gonna call them right now. Oh, they're fucking... Go, f <laughs> go find them. Number, could have said hunt, his phone. Hunt them down and kill them. I will. <laughs> right, we've got Curtis's number. I'm not showing my phone for doxing reasons for Curtis. Um. Oh. Okay, I will have to hunt and find them. Okay. I'm so sorry, stream. They literally disappeared, but I have no idea. Are they outside? No, they're not. Okay, I'm actually going to find them. I'm so sorry. Pick up that sword and go find them. Alright. <laughs> Kill them, bring okay. their bodies back in here. <laughs> go on a quest. Go have fun. Hi, stream. How are you? <laughs> I dropped my dice. <laughs> Is anyone still here that wants to talk while these guys are gone? That wants to have a little chat with me? Wants to have a little chat? Say hi. Or should I, should, I, should, I, should, I, should I send you to the fucking ad realm? <laughs> Run a minute long ad. Three viewers, so someone's here. <laughs> ad break. Oh, I can hear myself a little bit. That's fun. I'm thinking about putting these on Spotify soon, hopefully. Cross fingers. That would be cool. <laughs> Do, do, do. It was fun. It was just a great time, you know? It's a great time. Me and chat sitting here. They're not talking to me, but... Oh, hey! Welcome back. <laughs> I see you got dinner. We did. Yeah. We just did, made it. We did, did, for you guys. Did Molly find you? Did Molly hunt you down? Yeah, after, like, looking for us for a little bit, she was like, Curtis? Sophie? Didn't give a fuck about Ben. Yeah, that's oh. fair. <laughs> Oh, man's coming in with the fucking burger. This is the best part of the session where everyone disappears oh. to go get food. <laughs> Comes back and I'm just sitting there. Oh, I could stand with you. Oh, yeah, I mean, like, let's Do we, mama? Do we, mama? Do we, mama? Alright, are you guys ready to continue? <laughs> Okay. I, As, I don't know, are you? As you're walking through the sewers, you guys kind of leave the uh, the Broken Leaf Cafe and you begin to like make your ways down to, down to the sewers. Uh, as you're heading through the sewers towards the uh, the Tiefling hideout, uh, you run into Lixori, who is just walking back. Oh, that was, that was easy. Uh, she was crying. It looks like she's been crying. Oh, it's so easy to find you. We yeah. didn't know where you went. Oh. That was a good time to mention the stream is sponsored by Carl's Jr. <laughs> it's not. Don't tell them that. It's... It is? Um, so we can get this for free, right? Yeah, totally. Oh, okay, um, thanks, baby. Um... Hello. Hi. Um, you okay? Hi, Molly. Fine. Are you walking okay? Am I, am, I, am I walking okay? You are walking. <laughs> it's in bed at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, look. Okay. Oh. 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 Um, you're fine. So, I just talked to the head. Even some. Um, you talked to the guy, the one that Roderick was telling us about? Yeah. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, I wonder what about the next part of the plan. Yeah. I think it's fine. Um, it's fine. It is, um, he was a green tiefling. Just gonna pop it through. Um, I don't know, I actually forgot the name. Alrin. 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 Yeah. Like your father. Oh, oh, oh. He was a green tiefling. Quite charming. Uh, oh. charming? 
Uh, he, he seems like it. He got a crush on him. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. You a little crush on him? I like to think that she's like having this you know, very emotional experience. But just, what was it like? Were his eyes streamy? No. Um, Desmond has a look. Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to my mom, if you don't, yeah. I know you would not like us to press further, but I probably won't. I know. Is it uh, anything current? No. Will it involve us in any way? The silence is too much, Desmond. Probably not. Try not to. Try not to feel great. Erastus, how do you feel about this? I don't care. I think it's because the ML, yeah. We have bigger problems than just um, like, people not, conference. Just bigger do, problems? Is that just do um not really stand in my way. Okay, so from what I'm gathering, you're helping them, aren't you? You can say it. There's not much you can hide. You know pretty much the setup. You won't be harmed. So she looks at like Desmond and the rest is like, you won't be harmed if you... They won't be harmed? No, we're fine. Is this Iron Plague related again? We get the Iron Plague again. No, you're not getting the Iron Plague again. Is it going to be an assault on So is this like a they can't know thing? Or... No, they, they can, but I'm... Lexor's just, just gonna walk through. Lexor's just, like, time's gonna fall, Lexor, and be like, you can't just do this shit by yourself. He's ignoring him. Ignoring him. Still gonna keep going. If it, uh, it's gonna try and catch up to Lexor, because obviously you, she probably can't walk very fast. Yeah, she's kind of limping as she's walking, so you kind of try and catch up to her. <laughs> what is wrong? I'm gonna pretend that Desmond and Arastus are, like, just, like, not close behind us, but this was just kind of like watching them, like looking yeah. at Erastus. I'm, I'm looking behind us the whole time, in on the swivel. Yeah, Erastus, are you looking after something? I've got a job to do. I so you did do the thing. Yeah, they did their thing. Well, I don't expect you not to, it means more to you than anyone else. But... It really does. So, what do you have to do? Round up people, parade them through the streets. That's literally what I've been told. Why are you parading them? I get this. He told it. to. Who told you to? Alren told me to. And his word means all. Apparently. Yeah. It does mean all. Hyphen. So you think parading people is going to solve the problem? It's going to help them. Help who? The tiefling. So you. You. Me. Des. I don't think Any... anyone can help me. I know no one can help you. You have people. I know. Okay. 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 Um. I know nothing can help me. I know nothing can help you. Just let me fucking do this. And what if I say no? You won't be harmed. No one will be harmed. No, I'm saying no to you. What if I don't let you do this? We're still gonna do it. Yes, but you have- you don't need to be a part of it. You've got that map, Desmond? Hmm. Where do we go? Um... Think wisely. Adam, what's the map looking like? The map is on roll 20. <laughs> Oh, we're using roll 20. All right, now we're using roll 20. It's just the easiest place to put it so you can all find it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go through this plan. You can help me. I don't know what you can do, but I'm doing it on my own. But please remind me, what is the benefit of this? What is it going to do for you? What, give you some sense of vengeance? You won't fucking understand, Typhon. Then make me understand. Is still gonna keep on limping up here. She's gonna be like silent, and just keep on walk, like turn and just keep on limping out. Typhon's still going. Typhon ain't letting this go. 
Simon's just gonna sort of like try and grab your arm. He just like picks yeah, the and like, You can't walk away from this. I'm fucking walking away. Let go of me. No. Like, can I? How do I? Can, can, can I roll? Can she hit me? Are you trying to like grapple a dead grapple? I think so. Are you okay? Uh, try and grapple, I suppose, then. Who's grappling who? I'm assuming it. Sorry. Okay, Typhon, roll to grapple. You need to roll an athletics check, and uh, the Xori, you can either roll an acrobatics or athletics check to try and escape it. Whoever has oh. the higher roll wins. <laughs> acrobatics or athletics. Um, okay. I have most of you. I got an unnatural 20. I got a 21. I got an unnatural 20. I got a 21. So, Lixori wins. <laughs> You attempt to like grapple Lixori and like p- like you you wrap your arms around her and tackle her to the ground. Lixori, you pull out of like the the grasp and like you wiggle out from under her, uh, and a- able to kind of like get yourself away from her. Lixori just glares at Typhon and just like keeps on walking. Yeah. Okay. I was just gonna just sort of float back to Desmond. She's not doing too well. Mm. But she is going to do it. She shouldn't, but she will. Mm. I don't think we should. We should be involved? Or... We should. Oh, no, I'm not going to. You heard what she said, did you not? Partially. Parade people through the city seems a bit much. Does she mean humans or tiefling? I think she means the people that have harmed her. Mm-hmm. I guess it, I guess. Personal vendettas and all. It's a good burger, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is pretty solid. Yeah. Sorry, anyways. <laughs> but yeah, personal vendetta and all. Mm-hmm. Erasmus? What do you want to do? Uh, I think we should leave as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, close enough. We can't leave her behind, but she probably will not leave. We made quite a ripple, and I would be surprised if the tide doesn't fight back. Desmond, she's not going to want to talk to me. I think you might have to. I don't know, Mum. She's going to listen to me, and I honestly wouldn't blame her. In fact, it doesn't feel right for me to try and tell her to do anything. So oh, it's another awkward chat like sorry for me i guess i'll go with you but there's support uh, erastus do you have any words of encouragement um when in doubt friend them always work for me <laughs> i feel like that would have bigger consequences and i don't think we have any i think at this point we must leave and if she won't come willingly then perhaps she will have to come unwillingly I don't really feel comfortable doing that, but if we have to do it, well. Then when she gets the opportunity to leave us, she's probably gonna... We wouldn't, we wouldn't see her again. We need. She needs to come willingly. It's the only way to get to work. We need to work as a team. That's what happened last time we did it. Carly left. Mm. I don't think we can survive. Especially not her. If we keep losing numbers... We don't really have anyone to turn to. We should have just made Molly leave for this because she made us leave. Okay. <laughs> get there. Fuck it. Yeah, just go on. Okay. You know how to get there, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, it's time for an unfortunate conversation. Hmm. I think we just follow Lick Sorry now. Like, we're just leaving with where she goes. Yeah. Okay. You begin to follow uh, Lexori. Lexori, where are you headed? Are you heading back to the Broken Leaf Cafe? They like they leave. It's Roderick around. Well, you're, you're okay. You're gonna go see if you can find Roderick. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna... You're pretty easily able to find Roderick. You go to the Tiefling. Uh... Yeah. Am I able? Is Infernal still a spoken language? It is, but it's more of like a thieves can't kind of language. I'm gonna ask him if I don't. I've met him. Alita. 
He's replying in in, in Fertile. Uh, yeah. Is is this something you are you gonna mention something that these guys need to leave for? She's, she's a minute and then she's gonna yeah, go off. We can leave again. No. Uh, uh, man walks off. Uh, you you see, you you go to him and you go. I met him and he goes. Ah. Oh. Uh, and then you head off. It's it's okay. It's fine. Huh? It's fine. <laughs> Ben, you can uncover your ears now. I was also humming so that I couldn't hear anything. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, okay, so do we catch up with Lexora at all? Yeah. Um, eventually you're able to catch up with Lexora. You she's kind of still walking a few st- like meters ahead of you. Um probably, probably pissing, right? Yeah, when 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 you try and like catch up to her, she like walks a little bit faster to regain the uh the, oh, the distance. Uh, I feel like all of us could out her. I feel like it's just for dramatic effect. We're like letting her die. Yeah. yeah, you're like okay, fine. You can walk faster. Like, behind Typhon. Yeah, you could definitely go. Through this. Definitely. <laughs> I really appreciate Curtis just staring into my soul right now. Oh, Curtis <laughs> is like putting um. No, 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 no. I no. uh, actually is looking your beautiful eyes, Adam. Yeah. I'm just staring deep into you. I'm just some cool tattoos. Yeah. Guys, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Adam, are you doing anything after are this? We, are we catching up to like, sorry? Uh, pres- wait, so do you want to talk to her first? Like, do you want to like, call up to her? Because she probably won't respond to me. I'm going to wait to see where she goes. That's a good question, Lex. Sorry, where are you going now? She's not really. Mm. She's okay. Okay. She's like, I either like go home or like I go home. Okay. Okay. I've got an idea. Maybe no. Just, just make an idea inside. She's gonna go to the broken leaf. I'm gonna DM you something, Adam, just as a question. Okay. Um, but she's gonna go to the leaf. She's gonna like go run away. She's gonna pack her bags and leave. We're replacing him only. Yeah. I have a bunch of mischief. Yeah. Great people. Great. And we'll bring Samantha. I think that's fine. Samantha. Yeah. Oh, and also, I forgot to unbutton my shirt again. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you should. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah, not. I, w- I was noticing like an intense lack of sluttiness in the room, and I think yeah. I realized what it was. <laughs> Ben, unbutton, unbutton that shirt. Come on. <laughs> I've already got two buttons down. I'm not going for a photo. I'm sorry. Damn, that's Absolutely. so sad. Can can you do this real quick? Can you can you like slip right a little bit? Thanks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, perfect. <laughs> no one else can bulk it up. Yeah, just me. Uh, yes, Molly. I mean. So yes to the question. Yep. Oh damn. Something bad's gonna happen. She's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill all of us. Yeah. Lexor is the new. We thought Arastus. We thought Arastus was gonna kill everyone. Arastus, we can trust because he's consistently like first. Okay. Um, Lexor is just gonna go to a room and just just. That's awesome. Thanks, Curtis. She's gonna fuck. Uh, she's gonna fuck. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm not um, no, um, real well. Yeah, man. Okay. Big um, boss man. She's just gonna go in there. Um, kind of emotionally and mentally recover from what just happened, and take a shit out. So go in there. Figure shit out. You want yeah. so you're going back to the uh the yeah. Broken Leaf Cafe. Yes. Also. Oh, they're taking a the selfie. Look at that. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> can you can you take one? Except I'm in it as well. No. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Okay, okay, no, no, no. Let me let me just fucking let me just take a photo. <laughs> um, so if if like Sora's doing that, Typhon, even if Desmond's not there, Typhon's just gonna like walk in. Perfect. <laughs> we need the other two. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So yeah, she's just there, like trying to figure shit out. Um. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. So. Fuck you! I gotta take one as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh God, no! Why does I say sixty nine on my cheek? What do I have? A... It's the horoscope, man. Oh, Pisces. Yeah, totally. Yeah. 
Gemini. I'm a Taurus. <laughs> I'm a Taurus as well. Anyway, anyway, continue. Yeah, sure. But yeah, like, sorry, like, at the moment, since, um, I've me you to write, do that thing. Oh. But, um, she's very much pondering what the fuck to do. Like, what she, what's her next plan? Hang out with her friends. Yeah. And also, what she, what can she say to people? Mm-hmm. Also, she's keeping secrets now, yeah? I mean, I feel like we already knew that. Yeah. Mm. I do have a plan, but it kind of would ruin any further plot points. So I might not do it. But it would work. Okay. The needle? No. Oh, do you continue? Curious about what this plan is. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, okay, well, yeah, Typhon and I'm assuming Desmond, we're going to like go into Des Desmond and Luxor's room. Okay, you head into Desmond and Luxor's room. I told you you can't run away from it. Hey. Fuck off. <laughs> I love the fucking vibe. Just, I told you you can't run away from it. Hey. hey. <laughs> How you doing, girl? <laughs> it's a bit more like, hey. Hey, Frank. Now you're doing. What, what, what do you guys want? What do you want? Like, I've told you what I can. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I should do. I'm just... <laughs> Oh, um, there we go. Like <laughs> <us>. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> D D. Yep. Yeah. She said what? Um. She's like, I'm trying to figure stuff out. He's. Yeah, this gonna sit on his bed and look at her. I hope you know Typhon is sitting next to you. Oh okay. yeah. Oh. Like, Typhon sat. Didn't you didn't say that. And did you say? No. It's just. Well, I'm now you're saying. You can do it work. I don't hate you, Typhon. But we're not any future acts. Yeah. Yes. I don't hate you, Typhon. Well, you don't seem to take my opinion into account. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna have a nap. No, no, no. He's gonna. He's gonna sit. Okay. <laughs> he's okay. the mediator. Okay. Oh, okay. Shit. I don't. One second. I don't. I don't hate you. Is is that what you're wanting? No, I want to know what's going on with you. You don't just fuck uh, off in the middle of the night. I didn't even know I fucked off in the middle of the night. Oh? I just appeared. If that if that helps. Did they make you a pair? Maybe I wondered. I don't fucking know. I'm hallucinating. I. What well, I'm saying? I don't like the the big guy. <laughs> Give a shit! The I'm, way Roderick was talking about him. I don't. <laughs> you would like the plan. And she's still quite busy. Like you wouldn't like it. I'm sure I won't. No, that's why I'm not fucking telling either of you. And I'm going to go through it. Tell us. No. Why not? I'm because I can. We worry about you. Don't. Why wouldn't we? People die. Yeah, but we all did. Yeah. Cool. It would be nice if you didn't die. <laughs> We're like, this is the end of the campaign. I'm gonna call out. Oh, uh, I just start <laughs> fucking beating it up. <laughs> It'd be nice if you didn't die. We'd miss you. You're an important oh, part of the whole party. Oh, that I we miss you. Yeah. No one quite understands the life. Not even Desmond. Yeah. You know what his life feels like? Mm -hmm. We worry. Okay? Whether you like it or not, it doesn't change how we feel. And you're keeping secrets from Desmond like this? He already feels shit about the clock tower. I mean, to be honest, you could probably keep most of the secret. I just don't want to promise. No, I do. I don't want to tell. What is an impale? Anything that could harm you. No, it won't harm me. Then who will it harm? It's not going to harm any of you. I don't mean us. I mean, obviously, people will be harmed. Parading people doesn't necessarily mean a good thing. I don't like, sorry, pulls out his <laughs> phone. <laughs> sorry. I don't know, like, I'm going to ask uh, the guy. Hold on, I'm going to go um, ask God real quick. <laughs> I'm getting real close to doing my plan, Adam. You're fine, just don't. Oh, TP, TP, TP. Everyone dies, you'll come back and done it. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh my god, I can use my good one. I think that's kind of like. The crocodiles have a monster that like this, right? I think so. Ben's size back is like crocodiles. I mean, it's like totally paranuts. Synthetic leather. Synthetic crocodile pelts. Synthetic crocodile leather. Are they as like heavy as that? They're crocodile nuts, except they've just been kidney stones. I you to check the DMs, please. I'm looking. I really don't know. Just, like, I don't know, try and shut down the conversation. <laughs> what? Is that No. <laughs> More like dice side, am I right? Um, what do you mean? Are you going ESP with the guy? Yeah, it's up to you. Talking. You can just choose to not respond to them, to be fair. He's still so silent. So the church has a <laughs> Arise's bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just comes in last month. Oh fucking hey, did you go to the church? Yeah, well, yeah. Do, and, I, uh, I would be a hundred percent down for Arias just was walking into the room. So anyway <laughs> Your tiff yeah. the church has their own iron plague ball. Uh, also they have beings made of metal that can't be hit by physical attacks. Weirdly enough, the Iron Plague Ball makes sense. I'm pretty sure they are going to go try and kill me. Maybe, maybe not. They're what did weird. you do? Also, I told them about the Tieflings, so I, and they didn't care. You're going to cause the Iron Plague again on your side. Is there an Iron Plague Ball? Oh, I can just it. It's, it's an Iron Plague Ball, so I'm just trying to eat them. You know, we probably should have asked if they didn't need to be physical. Yeah, they should be such a good person. Yeah. I guess I'm going to be honest, they're not, but trying isn't. Whatever this thing is. What did you say? I, I gave them a note they passed to the leader uh, about, about the location of the uh, tieflings, and he said they already knew. Are they planning to attack by any chance? I have no idea. This is why your plan is a bad idea. And unless Roderick was lying, he didn't consider the church at all. Me out. Oh, yeah, no, he didn't. No offense. Oh, I know. Oh, okay. I saw it's not the word I would use. I think that man has a different agenda. Oh, you know. Oh, I'm glad you know. Do you know what it is, or you don't? Oh. Oh, well, you met you met his boss, so you probably know more. That kind of organization would have a lot of sub subterfuge between members, which would screw us over. Roderick himself. Has the church contacted you? No. She does not like to. I did very, very aggressively research them. Very incredibly secretive. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what you expect from a cult, right? A cult on that point. Yeah, I think we should do that. I don't think we could stop the church. Well, she said don't stop them. I think Roderick maybe. expects this happening. Let's say he moves ahead. <laughs> Your poker face is a challenge. Yeah, no, no, I'm just staring because you guys are staring at me and I'm like, I, no, I, that's literally not it. Your poker face is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think Roderick is expecting the church to show up. I'd say we instigate war and kill the victim. I don't think we'd win that war. We kill the victor. Oh, they will be busy destroying. So it's like, wait, and then, and then we pick up. I think we'll probably do that. The sooner we're out of here, the better. The next three places are going to leave. There's no. The teeth from forces are pitifully weak. <laughs> so. You did say to me that I can go. And then it'll be a blast. No, it'll be hard. I will be hurt, but they will still continue the plan. Yes, but how are we going to move forward if you're not here? I will. I don't know when they're going to do it, or when they want me to do it. Do they want you to do something? I do not. They said I can do nothing. But then why are you still here? 
I told you before in this film, I'm making you understand. Which we're just starting to smile at me. Alright. Well. Nick Dip. I think Erasmus' war idea is sounding quite fun now. I don't want to be fun the first time. I was really afraid. I mean, being a surprise thing, I was walking on both sides. It's been a. Yeah, it's all the guys if you want. The longer we're here, the more chance there's been more trouble. Much as I wish I was, I'm not. Wait, you gave the horn to the apothecary guy, right? How long before they find out that he has it? And then how long before he rats on you? You also seem to get it, right? Yes, but what is that goat thing in the lol's tower missing? Nick Sorry. Would they know they have two horns? I think the church would have seen enough. I don't think the church is on our side. Mm. Especially not with your meddling Erastus. So that's it. We leave. Is that? That's the safest course of action. Um, like Tyvin's gonna like kind of gesture at them to be like, "Can you guys leave?" Skip that all. Yeah, yeah. Bye, guys. Cause I actually will we'll slip away. I'm just like, yeah. Just... Oh, all right. Okay, bye. <laughs> you can say cause we love you. Ben's back. Ben. Ben's still there. Oh. You can sit here, you don't have to leave for real. No, I'm leaving for real. Oh, okay. Jesus. Yeah. Um, I know you have some kind of complex going on. I know that they're tiefling, and I know they mean a lot to you. But there is a bigger picture. Do you want me to go with you? Is that what you want? Well, we don't want you here, but... <laughs> If everyone watching, Curtis uh, slipped under the desk. Yeah, no fucking don't. <laughs> Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Um, what were we? Uh, I understand if people want to stay, but it's not the safest. And I don't think they're I going to continue the plan regardless if I'm here or not. I can. If you want me to stop them, I can't. I'm not saying to stop them. I don't think those tieflings care a fuck about you. I think you just helped them. What, revenge? Revenge on the people? The people that you wish to parade? Am I figuring it out? I think you should know. Like, you of all people, out of everyone in the party, you should know that there are people I want to kill. But do I go around parading it? Look at us! Your people are in the sewers. My- <laughs> how, how many dragonborn have you seen? None. I know! I don't care about those sea flames. I think you do. Um, We have one shot at this. We're in a place now that would kill us on sight. If you go doing things like this, regardless of what you think is right to fix your some kind of complex going on, I get it. You're angry. You want revenge on the people that have done this to other tieflings that will continue to do it to people like you. People like me. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> um... But that's not going to fix anything right now. You've been alive for just over a week. How many times have you almost died? Mm -hmm. How many times have you almost died due to work with things that don't seem to care? Please, I'm safe to go if I refuse. If that makes you feel better. Safe to go? I didn't know you exist! He said it himself. There are many everywhere. I doubt that your name isn't being spread around. I know. Like, 
I know, and how many red teeth rings are they going to see with hooves next story? Well, you fucking bring up my hooves. <laughs> well, you have a very identifying feature. Tell me, have you thought this through? Or have you just been blinded by the idea of revenge? I think that is an excellent final line to end today's session on. <laughs> ben, you can come in. Ben, you can come in. Ben, we need you to say bye. Ben. Benjamin. Benjamin. Hi, kids. Hi. Hi. You're going to come say bye to the people. Anyway. Oh. If you are still watching, thank you for watching. This has been a very dramatic session. Very a lot of yelling at each other, um, a lot of uh, getting distracted, getting di getting distracted by the fact that four of those guys are in the room together. However, this is However, why we don't do D &D together. This is why we're in separate places. Yeah. Two into it. this is actually really good. <laughs> I uh, know, like, if we go down, if we go down, it'd be like a cool. Like, you're gonna like yell at each other, which is cool. Yeah, but yeah. Um, anyway. Thank you for coming and watching today's episode of Ascana Dark. If you did come and watch, uh, if you just watched for a little bit and you're watching this part later, maybe, uh, thanks for that anyway. That We appreciate any kind of support. Uh, if you oh, are sorry. watching on YouTube, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're watching on Twitch, go ahead and hit that follow button. And then if you're feeling like really nice and you really like us and you think we're really okay. cool and you want to hold our hands like they're holding right now, Maybe go go ahead and give us a subscribe. But uh, aside from that, I've been ZXC. These, these guys have been uh, beautiful, beautiful Goodness. people. Uh, and we are going to hold your hand and uh, see you I'm later. Not, I'm busy holding Molly and Curtis's. Bye! Bye! Bye.